The world of modern air combat is changing faster than anyone expected, and one breakthrough has pushed that acceleration even further. For the first 15 seconds, imagine a piece of fighter, jet technology so advanced that it forced the United States to react instantly, adopting the concept almost the moment Israel revealed it. Picture Russia and Iran watching in real time as a smaller nation leaped ahead of them in an area they believed they had tightly controlled. This shift didn't come from a new fighter jet, a new engine, or a new missile. It came from a system built to rethink what a fighter jet can see, process, and control in the air. A technology designed not just for speed, but for intelligence. Not just for survival, but for complete dominance in a sky filled with threats. And now the entire world is paying attention. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring a development that is reshaping global aviation strategy, Israel's new fighter, jet technology that America copied almost instantly, surprising even the most prepared military analysts. The breakthrough has stunned Russia and Iran because it represents a level of digital awareness and operational intelligence that they are not yet equipped to match. This isn't about hype or exaggeration. It's about real, measurable capability that begins with the way a fighter jet sees the sky, senses threats, communicates with allies, and makes decisions before the pilot even thinks about them. What makes this particularly fascinating is how seamlessly it integrates into existing jets, turning familiar designs into next generation assets without needing an entirely new aircraft. The exterior of the aircraft equipped with this technology appears almost deceptively simple. On the surface, it doesn't look dramatically different from any modern fighter, but hidden beneath the skin is a network of embedded sensors, distributed apertures, and small, profile receivers that allow the aircraft to collect information from every angle without giving away its position. The surface coatings are improved to reduce reflection and radar signature, making the aircraft even harder to spot from a distance. The sleek shape that pilots already trust becomes more than aerodynamic, it becomes part of a larger invisible shield. The technology allows the aircraft to move through contested airspace more confidently, knowing it can avoid detection while staying hyper, aware of everything happening around it. The exterior plays the quiet role of enabling stealth, intelligence collection, and survivability all at once. Inside the cockpit, the transformation is more dramatic, yet still clean and user-friendly. The interior is designed to give the pilot an immediate advantage through clarity, simplicity, and speed. Instead of multiple screens fighting for attention, the information is merged into a single comprehensive display that updates in real time. Artificial intelligence assists by filtering out noise and highlighting only what matters. The pilot sees threats, targets environmental changes, and mission critical data all arranged in a way that reduces confusion and improves reaction time. The helmet becomes a key tool, projecting vital data directly onto the pilot's field of view with almost zero delay. The interior is short, minimal, and focused because the mission doesn't need clutter, it needs speed, accuracy, and informed decision making. Performance is where this technology truly reveals its power. Instead of relying solely on the aircraft's engines or aerodynamics, the system leverages intelligence to boost overall capability. The jet can identify targets at distances far beyond what conventional fighters can manage. It can interpret threat patterns and determine whether an enemy is using jamming, decoys, or stealth strategies. The aircraft becomes a node in a much larger network, communicating with drones, ground station satellites, and other jets. By doing this, it gains access to a massive flow of coordinated information that older fighters cannot match. Every movement, every turn, every lock-on becomes smarter. This is why the United States acted so fast to incorporate the idea, performance based on information dominance is the future of aerial warfare, and Israel pushed ahead of the timeline. Safety features expand naturally from that improved performance. With more awareness comes better protection. The system screens constantly for incoming missiles, advanced radar beams, stealth aircraft, and even cyber-based interference. It warns the pilot earlier than traditional systems and provides automatic countermeasure suggestions. In some cases, it can even initiate defensive maneuvers or deploy decoys faster than human reaction time allows. The jet becomes harder to target, harder to fool, and harder to defeat. In low visibility environments, the sensors give the aircraft a near perfect view of the battlefield, eliminating the risk of flying blind. For Israel, where every mission carries a potential threat, these safety enhancements were essential. For the countries watching from the outside, it became clear that their older defensive suites could not easily match this level of protection. 
The unique selling points of this technology help explain its global impact. One of the most important advantages is modularity. Nations do not need to build new jets from scratch. They can take existing fourth or fifth generation fighter jets and upgrade them into something far more capable. This reduces cost, training time, deployment delays, and long-term maintenance burdens. Another key advantage is resilience in electronic war zones. When Russia or Iran try to jam radar or cut communication channels, many systems fail or freeze. Israel's new system continues to function, filtering interference and focusing on data that remains reliable. This resilience, combined with the ability to coordinate unmanned drones directly from the cockpit, gives pilots an unprecedented level of battlefield control. Instead of flying alone, the fighter becomes a commander of airborne assets, multiplying its impact. The price varies depending on the depth of integration and the type of aircraft being upgraded. However, compared to the cost of buying a new fighter jet, integrating this system is far more affordable. Countries with budget constraints or limited air fleets can still achieve next, generation capabilities without spending billions on new aircraft. For major powers like the United States, upgrading large fleets quickly is far more practical than waiting years for new jets. The cost effectiveness is one of the reasons the technology gains such rapid interest around the world. It offers high value without demanding an enormous financial burden, making it appealing not only to wealthy nations, but also to countries seeking strategic balance in tense regions. Beyond cost and practicality, the strategic value of this technology is what truly sets it apart. Air forces are no longer competing only in terms of speed, altitude, or weapon variety. They are competing in terms of awareness, data processing, and the ability to act before the enemy even understands what is happening. Israel's breakthrough shifts this balance dramatically. The jet equipped with this system can monitor a large area, detect patterns invisible to older radars, and identify threats that would normally slip through. Even stealth aircraft become easier to track when the system pieces together enough small fragments of data to form a complete picture. For Russia and Iran, this is alarming because it challenges their long, standing confidence in their aerial tactics and stealth platforms. It forces them to reconsider strategies they have relied on for decades. As the system collects massive amounts of information, it does more than simply display it. It interprets the data, ranking threats by importance and recommending actions. The pilot remains in full control, but the aircraft behaves like a co-pilot with limitless attention and instant reaction. Coordination with unmanned drones takes this even further. The fighter can send drones ahead to scout, jam enemy systems, or relay visual feeds directly to the cockpit. The pilot can command drones to circle targets, extend radar coverage, or create decoy signals, all from within the aircraft, without relying on ground control. This creates a force multiplier that older generations of fighters could never achieve. It is no longer a single aircraft entering hostile airspace. It is an intelligent system supported by multiple autonomous partners, all connected through one central brain inside the fighter. In tense environments, this connectivity becomes decisive. The faster an aircraft can understand the battlefield, the faster it can strike, retreat, or reposition. Israel's new technology allows pilots to make informed choices at speeds that overwhelm traditional defenses. If an enemy fighter approaches, the system predicts its path, analyzes its likely intentions, and suggests the most effective response. If ground-based missile launchers activate, the sensors detect the shift in energy patterns, marking the exact location and calculating the risk level. This kind of predictive awareness reduces the chance of surprise attacks and gives pilots a confidence that changes the way missions are executed. Even when flying deep into dangerous areas, the pilot is surrounded by a digital shield of information. The effects extend beyond combat scenarios. Training becomes easier because pilots can learn faster with systems that guide them through complex situations. Maintenance becomes more efficient because the technology monitors its own condition, predicting when components need attention before they fail. Even logistics benefit as upgraded jets require fewer specialized parts and less downtime compared to completely new aircraft. Countries that adopt this technology find that it improves every stage of their operational cycle from planning and preparation to mission execution and post-flight analysis. This holistic improvement is a major reason why other nations reacted so strongly to the announcement. The shift in global perception happened quickly. Analysts recognized that Israel had not only introduced a valuable upgrade, but had quietly changed the direction of future air combat. Instead of waiting for sixth-generation fighters, countries could enhance their current fleets to achieve similar capabilities right now. 
this realization created urgency. If one nation could level up its air force in a short amount of time, others risked falling behind just as quickly. For the United States, adopting the concept was both a technological decision and a strategic necessity. Keeping pace meant integrating new levels of intelligence, automation, and networked awareness into its aircraft. For Russia and Iran, however, this sudden jump created concern. Their older systems, despite looking formidable on paper, were not designed for this level of digital warfare. Matching the capabilities will require major redesigns, new software architectures, and years of development. Looking deeper into the long-term impact, the advancement signals a future where air superiority depends less on brute force and more on smart force. The ability to process information faster than an opponent decides who wins engagements. A jet equipped with these systems can strike first, defend better, and retreat more safely. It can share data instantly with surrounding units, turning isolated missions into coordinated operations. Nations that adopt and invest in these capabilities will hold the advantage for years to come. This creates a ripple effect across military planning, alliances, and procurement decisions. Countries that once relied on large fleets may shift to smaller fleets equipped with smarter technology, reducing costs while increasing effectiveness. From an engineering perspective, the technology represents years of research into sensor integration, data fusion, signal processing, and artificial intelligence. Every piece of hardware and software is designed to work in harmony, reducing delays and maximizing accuracy. The aircraft becomes a unified system rather than a collection of separate tools. Developers ensured that upgrades could be applied without compromising the structural integrity or aerodynamic performance of existing fighters. This careful engineering makes the system both powerful and practical. It also means that the technology can continue evolving with newer versions offering even more advanced capabilities in the future. The ethical implications also matter. With more accurate targeting and better situational awareness, the risk of misidentification or accidental engagement decreases. Pilots can verify targets more clearly, evaluate surrounding conditions more accurately, and avoid civilian areas with greater precision. The intelligence-driven design reduces the fog of war, which has historically caused many tragic mistakes. By providing clearer information and smarter decision support, the system makes missions not only more effective, but also more responsible. This dimension is rarely discussed publicly, but it is a crucial aspect of why countries see this technology as a step forward rather than a destabilizing threat. In conclusion, Israel's new fighter technology represents a major leap in aviation intelligence and operational awareness. It transforms the exterior of the aircraft into a shield of stealth and sensors, and the interior into a streamlined hub of real-time decision-making. Its performance goes beyond speed and agility, offering dominance through data, prediction, and connectivity. Its safety features protect pilots from both physical and digital threats. Its unique selling points make it affordable, adaptable, and resistant to electronic warfare. Its strategic impact is so substantial that the United States moved instantly to implement similar concepts, while Russia and Iran were left confronting a capability gap they did not expect. This breakthrough marks the beginning of a new era in air combat, one defined not only by power, but by intelligence, awareness, and the ability to act before the enemy even realizes what is happening.